Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Let's talk about your converter. Now, I know a lot of you, when we're sitting there thinking in our RV, because that's typically what we do, <laughs> we're looking at limited power, anything else, we begin to forget about all of our 12 volt. That's gonna be our lights, our fan, actually all our thermostats run off 12 volt, and you all think it's running off your battery. But did you ever stop and wonder, what's charging your battery? Your battery's not magical, it's not endless power, it needs to be recharged. And so what we have on our rig is a converter. Now this converter, typically is hidden. Because it's electronic, most of the times they hide it behind a wall. The problem that we have is, is we all forget that we have this converter. This is what we need to know. Anytime we are plugged into shore power, it doesn't matter whether you're 15 amps, 30 amps, or 50 amps, when you're plugged into shore power, your converter is on. Now all converters actually draw energy. Each one may be a little bit different. This one actually says it pulls 55 amps. Well, 55 amps at 12 volts is gonna be about 5.5 amps that it's actually drawing. Here's the great thing about it. It typically doesn't break. It's maintenance free. There's nothing that we have to do to it. Lastly, um, it actually has its own breaker. You're gonna actually find where this is in your breaker panel box. It should be an independent breaker, just simply saying converter. Typically, it's about a 15 or 20 amp breaker that they're set on. So when you're considering how much power you're using, consider Always consider that you have that converter on. All right, so you see this one here, we call this one the standalone. We also have another version. It's what we call a combination unit. And this is what it is right here. Now, if you've got a combo unit, this is actually in the lower section of your breaker panel box. If you ever buy your breaker panel box and you hear some fans, more than likely, you got a combo unit. They are replaceable, you can replace these, but there's not much that we do. If these go out, we just simply toss them out. And there's your tech tip. And now we got this big dilemma going on beyond that, but I digress. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. It's because she put it in my head to start talking about the fall and the freaking leaves. I'm gonna show you what it is. Well, we just simply toss them out. I was about to throw it. Now, converters, if you're asking, okay, well, Todd, this, you see this one here. I see this one that you're holding. I don't know why you're saying Todd, but okay. All right, tech tip, Todd. You got this in your hand, but I don't have one that looks like that. You know what you do when leaves fall? you leave. That's nature telling you, hey, you're an RV, don't be stupid, leave. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm standing in front of the camera. Hello. Any questions in the peanut gallery? Converters come in two varieties. This is what we call the standalone, and magically, this one here. This is a hybrid. Now, the hybrid, not actually, damn it, do it again. You're down to about 24.5 amps, 55. I don't know, you math that. Otherwise, sitting up on lower voltage, wait, damn it, why is it sitting right here? I gotta look over this way. What's charging your battery? Okay. <laughs> I just, I'm gonna need a few hours to edit that. <laughs> really? Just give them all the blue.